Yes, the dailies give me money. It's like five yeah. more pretty stuff. So apparently, lightning was given the. Uh, the piece. God, everything's just buggy. This bad boy didn't pop up till just now. He always does that, though. It's not the first time I've seen it happen where the game won't spawn until like everybody's run past it. No, so that's almost nothing game. new. I've done this fight two times. Next vortex is gonna have those like little mutated like beaver rat fish things or whatever. More right more little writhing horrors. Beaver fish. Baby writhing horrors. They're eradicates. Whatever. Stop trying to seem all art tricky. <laughs> hey, nerds rule the world. Yes, That's my true. son is a nerd. Brigades below 30. I got a beaver fish over here. Oh, we got a lot more over here. And last hypergate uh, vortex. Um, two drains invaders again. I'll uh, get the one on the right. I'm going to AoE taunt first, though. Um, Arvis and hit my reflect. Just to piss them off, but just make sure you interrupt the makeshift. Okay. You really like that reflect, don't you? Oh, yes. And we just got a couple bosses to kill, and that's it. Uh, this is gonna be kind of a bitch of a fight, uh, Arvis, just to give you a heads up. Uh, just, it's very, very mobile. Um, what happens is, um, well, it, it, uh, you can watch the cutscene, no worries. Um, once again, we're gonna kind of work it like a clock face. So, basically, what we gotta do is for the first two phases, we got to. Um, Kite kept us close to these uh, pillars. The way we do it in the first two phases, though, is, is, is different. But the, the, the whole idea is we want to get them close to these pillars uh, because then we got to and we got to collapse these pillars on top of them. Uh, and we do it, you know, two different ways for each phase. Uh, one one way for fa each phase. Um, and then if he's close enough, the pillar will fall on him. It'll stun him for a few seconds. 
and you know the DPS get to gets to burn them for a little bit uh, hard, uh, harder. Uh, phase one goes until he gets to like 50% health. Um, then he'll jump up in the air. You can still DPS him and stuff like that. Uh, and then um, while he's up there, uh, if you have the range for it. Um, and then he'll jump back down in the middle. Uh, stay, stay out of the middle because it's going to do this kind of like shockwave effect. You got to avoid these like, um, this like ripple effect or whatever. Otherwise, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It just knocks you back really far and we get to laugh at you while it happens. Um, uh, then phase two, the way, uh, oh, sorry, I've, I've also got to mention. So for phase one, what's going to happen is uh, you're going to see this blue reticle hit the ground. Everybody needs to stay out of that. That's for you and me. Because what will happen is, um, uh, uh, after a f uh, after a minute or two, or what, well, not a minute, um, after a little bit, he, uh, I'll start off tanking him. He's going to put this debuff on me where I look like I, I'm, like, made out of pure energy, like pure electricity. Um, I, I need to run into that blue reticle. Like, it'll turn into this field of electricity. I basically need to run in there to discharge this energy that Kephas has given me, or whatever, because it, it does a fast ticking dot. Um, and that's the only way you can cleanse yourself um, of the debuff. Uh, then, you know, while I do that, you're going to taunt Kephas. Now, what you got to pay attention of is he's going to tether himself to one of the six pylons that you kind of see to, uh, to the left and to the right. Um, if Kephas is 12 o'clock and we're, and we're kind of standing at 6 o'clock or whatever, um, the pillars are at 1, 3, and 5 o'clock that, that are on the right. And then over here, it's 7, 9, and 11. He's going to tether himself to, the, to one of those, and the way you know is there'll be this kind of like bolt of lightning go that goes from his back to, to the pillar. And the whole idea is we just need to kind of, let's say he tethers himself to 5 o'clock here, right? In phase 1, you don't need to get him right up against the pillar. You, it's not necessary. You can if you want to, but um, what have, you just kind of need to get him on the grass or, or in the dirt or whatever. Just not... Over here is probably maybe a little bit too far, but yeah, if he's on the dirt, he'll be fine. Um, and then what'll happen is, um, you know, y you'll kite him over. Uh, don't go too fast though, because you, you may outrun the healers. Um, uh, but then you'll get that lightning debuff or whatever. Then you gotta run to that electrical field to clear it from you. Your shroud will. Um, uh, will resist the damage while you're clearing it. So if you're taking too much damage from it, or if your health is low, just take your shroud. Uh, because there are, and there's also sometimes where the, the the field hasn't spawned yet, uh, and you have to wait for it to spawn. But meanwhile, you're still taking damage, so your shroud will help out with that if, you know, if you need to, uh, if you need to use it. Um, once we, and then after after you after two people get that lightning debuff. Soon afterwards, he's going to target somebody for a laser blast. It's random. You can't taunt him to, to get it back or whatever. That person then needs to kind of run between Kephas and the pillar. Um, they uh, they will turn to face them. They'll follow, he'll turn and follow them. And the whole idea is everybody else has got to clear out from his front because he does this massive conal attack that does kind of hurt a lot. Um, but what what what'll happen is we want him to breathe on the pillar he's tethered to. Because then the p it, that that'll cause the pillar to fall over and stun him, as I mentioned before. We get to burn him a little bit. Um, he, uh, afterwards, he'll stand back up. He'll he'll probably put the dot on you know that electrical debuff on me and you, and then it's rinse, wash, repeat. You know he'll tether himself to a different pylon. Then we got to move him accordingly, um, or whatnot. Um, and then we got we keep doing that until we get to fifty per until he gets to fifty percent. Then he'll go into phase two. He'll jump up. And then come back down in the middle, and the whole idea, the, the 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 goal is still the same in phase two, where we need to get him close to pillar. But in phase two, we got to get him much closer to the pillar. Like he's got to be standing like right next to the pillar in phase two, in order for it to you know fall down on top of him. Um, but the whole uh, but the way we collapse it is slightly different. Um, what will happen is he will start toss tossing debuff out called corrupted nanites. Um, there's there's three indications of it. First, you'll see this like orange like stream of lights go from Kevis to the person he gives the corrupted nanites to.
Uh, second is once that person gets the corrupted nanites, you'll see an orange circle above their head showing that they have it. And third, it'll it'll tell the person themselves, but not the raid. It'll only tell the person who gets it in red lettering across the screen that they got corrupted nanites. Uh, it does give you a dot, but it's not much. It's like 1,100 damage every three seconds or so. Um, so it, it's it's really minimal. But what'll happen is those pillars that we kind of collapsed in phase one, they'll start rebuilding themselves. Once one has been completely rebuilt, it will then start glowing blue. Like you can interact with it, like a lore object or, or whatever, or codex thing. Um, and what'll happen is we, we're gonna wait when two pe for two people to get the, the, the corrupted nanite debuff. Once, uh, and the way it's going to work is he, he's going to throw the corrupted nanite debuff out, and then he's going to jump up, and this is where it's going to get really, really, you know, disgusting for us since we got so much melee. Two things happens when he jumps. First, a blue reticle will appear on the ground where he jumped from. You need to get out of that ASAP. It does like, it does like, you know, two to three thousand damage a second while you're in there. So you definitely need to, to, to get the hell out of that. Um, the second thing that happens is Kephis will target somebody and uh, with a red reticle, and that's where he's going to jump down to. You cannot avoid that. Um, in mo well, most classes can't avoid it. Assassins, you can shroud. Your shroud will, will work. You know when he jump, you just got to time it right. Um, uh, if you wait, if you go like you know one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and after two Mississippi, when you say two Mississippi or whatever, when you count to two, hit your shroud and you should avoid all that damage and, and stunning effects and stuff like that. Um, uh, and then, um, and then you know, uh, we'll kind of tank him close to the center um, until a pylon comes up, and I will designate, designate which pylon we go to by saying, you know, 1, 3, and 5, 7, 9, or 11. Um, and then we're going to wait for the second person. Now, we don't want to tank him next to the pylon, because what will happen is... Uh, the, the, the way we get the, these pylons to collapse is the people with the corrupted nanite debuff, they're going to run over and channel on, on the on the pylon, and, and I'll let you guys know when to channel. And then it's us, it's up to us tanks and Arvis to uh, uh, after w as they're channeling, we want to bring Kephis over to that pylon, and then as soon as, soon as Kephis gets close, they're going to interrupt their channel, you know, by moving. So like like if I'm channeling, I'm gonna sit on this pile. And we're gonna sit here and channel yada yada. It's like a, it's like a 60 second channel or something like that. It, it's pretty long or 15 second channel. I can't remember. It's a pretty long channel. Uh, and then you know if I'm channeling, then I'm just gonna back up when Kephis gets close. And then as long as nobody's channeling on it, once it, once somebody has started channeling, the pylon will fall over just like it does in phase one. It'll stun them and you know all that jazz. Uh. And then uh, this will, and then we'll continue doing this until he gets to 10% health. At 10% health, he is untankable at this point. Um, he's going to Hulk out, and then what, what needs to happen? All the DPS is going to stack on top of Kephis. Heals and uh, tanks will, will maintain range more than 10 meter, uh, no closer than 10 meters, Arvis. Because what will happen? Two things will happen. First, a raid wide. Uh, dot effect will go off where you take 800 damage a second. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. Your, your shroud will, you know, resist it for, for as long as it's up, but after that, there's no way to avoid the 800 uh, damage a second. Second thing that'll happen is he's going to start throwing orange reticles all over the place. Um, this is the reason why the, he, and he targets, he has, pr he took the, the, the target priority is he targets people that are farther away from him than are up on top of him. That's why Arvis, you, me, and the healers are going to be running around more than 10 meters away from him, so that way we're going to get targeted by those yellow reticles, um, or these orange reticles, and the DPS, they can just sit there and just burn him, because at this point, we just need to burn him as fast as we can, that last 10%. Um, so, uh, uh, the, 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 the reticles are going to appear qu uh, quite frequently. Uh, the, some, a lot of them appear in random locations, but some will target you, so pretty much just stay on the move. Um, and what I normally do on my assassin is, you know, uh, like I'll, I'll hover around like the 10 meter range so I can still use things like wither and shock and, uh, you know, overload and stuff like that just to do some DPS. Um, and then I won't use my, um, uh, uh, I won't use my, um, uh, what is, it? uh, force lightning 
Uh, un unless, you know, A, I've got Shroud, then I'll hit the Shroud and then use Force Lightning, because your Shroud will help with the, those orange reticles. Or two, if a reticle just appeared on me, I'll Force Speed out of it and then immediately start to, you know, use my Force Lightning on me, because it's going to be like, a, like a, a couple seconds before you have to worry about a, another orange reticle hitting you. But mostly, it's going to be the DPS's job once once he hits 10%. We just need to stay alive. That's our that's our priority. We just need to stay alive in that last 10% uh, burn phase. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. Uh, questions? Okay, so the blue reticles that we need to uh, of, I mean we need to get to once we get the electric debuff, they're going to be random spawn or yeah, they're going to appear in random locations. Well, mostly in in the towards the middle of the area here um, that they're going to be at. So DPS and healers, uh, the only time you should run into that is if you get the if, is if you get that electrical debuff. And it'll stay there until somebody gets that elec that electricity debuff and runs in to go cleanse himself of it. So uh, you don't have to worry about somebody running in there and taking it from you. Although it sucks because they're going to get hit, you know, uh, uh, as long as they stay in there, they're going to take damage uh, quite quickly. So... Um, but uh, but yeah, exactly right. Yeah, it's um, yeah, that th and that's only for phase one. When phase two happens, we don't have to worry about that, um, about cl cleansing that electrical debuff. Okay. And then phase two, um, the big thing is we got to watch out when he jumps and and uh, when he casts the nanites, like a couple seconds later, he's going to jump up. Um, and the big thing for that is we need to get out of that um, that blue reticle like ASAP uh, because it's going to hurt. And uh, since we're, you know we got three melee in here, that's five people that's going to get hit by that blue. And the, the worst thing that can happen is if you get targeted by the red reticle, and because w when Kephas jumps down on top of the person with the red reticle, um, it'll knock back everybody else that's in there. But the person who gets targeted by it and hit by it, it'll stun them. Um, and so it, it and it does and it does some spike damage. So it sucks if you get targeted by the red reticle and you get hit while you're in the blue reticle because if if you're not a tank, you're probably going to die, <laughs> um, um, or unless you're like bubbled and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, uh, the, the uh, phase two it's it's managing when we it's it's managing when we go to channel and 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 you know getting out of the, that blue reticle and avoiding the red one. That, that, that's that's the name of the game in phase two, and then phase three, it's just it's the DPS's job to burn it. us. You know, we got to stay alive. Okie doke. Alrighty, uh, let's do it up. Chicky, Chicky, come on. Chicky, wakey, wakey. There you go. And pulling in three, two, I'm worth the way. one. Tonta Marvis. Clear. Natsu? Yeah, of course. Shoot. Face you. Clear of us. I don't even think it would have dropped that seven. <laughs> Loser. Right, 
Tonto Marvis. Shooky. Go clear. Okay, he's at nine. Clearing, take more of us. Drilling. Clear Arvis. The one. Go clear Arvis. Besk. Four. Go clear, Arvis. Five o'clock. Clearing. Take him, Arvis. Uh, you jump. Phase two. I watch the uh, corrupting effect. Watch the jump. Right, we're gonna go to nine o'clock first. Watch the jump. Start channeling if you have nanites. Break. Watch the jump. Right, we're going to five o'clock next. Oh, not have yet. All right. I have nanites. Start channeling. Take more of us. Oh, never mind. You're channeling. Break. Oh, I had those uh, things on me. So do not, do not channel yet. Wait for the next jump. Start channeling if you have nanites. Break. Below 30. One o'clock next. I have nanites on me. Ah, uh, trolled. Watch for the next jump. Channel if you have nanites. Break. We're going to 11 o'clock next. Watch the jump. Death 21. I'll wait for the next jump to channel. Start channeling if you have them. Too late. Don't do not channel. Don't channel. Don't channel. Right, no, nice. Start channeling. 
Failing. Break. Stop DPS. Oh, hold on, he might Hulk out here. Just stop. Right. Wait for the jump. Right. Channel if you have nanites. Break after this burn phase. He's gonna Hulk out. So tanks and healers go get to range. DPS stack. Discharge. <laughs> yeah, be sure you uh, interact with the panel here. Uh, to get to, uh, is part of the one time quest. Whoops! I got the head! Please, well, I'm still down here, by the way. Um. Someone's face walk. I linked a um, um, a map for phase two. The team speak. Um, if you open that up, it'll greatly help uh, the explanation for phase two. Um, it will sound confusing as hell when he explains phase two. Some confusion yeah. is expected. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's. Really, really it, 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 it took me probably at least like half a dozen runs before I figured, you know, that, you know, m my head so sat on my shoulders and my ass was, you know, lower than that uh, <laughs> uh, w w when I first started doing that fight because it is confusing. Y no matter how good the explanation is or how many videos you watch, you're still going to get turned around and whatnot. Um, but basically what happens here is uh, we're going to split up. We're going to have a... Uh, Arbus, it's going to be, let's see, actually we'll leave the groups as they are, so Arbus, it's going to be you, um, Lightning, Krillin, and Besseluk, um, on the right hand side, um, then it's going to be me, Shuki, Inalinia, and Natsu on the left. Um, the way this works, you're not actually going to be fighting the boss. Uh, he's going to burrow two tentacles, uh, and that's what we're going to be fighting. Um, and you want to spin, what I do is I spin the tentacles to face the boss. Like, I'm basically putting myself between the boss and the tentacles. Uh, because they do this slam attack that hits everything. It's like a huge conal that hits everything in front of it. Um, Meanwhile, the DPS is going to stack up on the on the other side of you. Um, let's see. Um, Shooky, did you want to stay back for spit or no? 
I can do that. Okay. Um, actually, you're gonna have to since we have two melee on our side. Yeah. Um, you get a choice. So, uh, one person has to stay back. It's got to be healer or ranged, to uh, because th they're gonna get targeted by spit from from the terror. And one person from each from each side has to stay back, because that spit once it gets put down, it does not go away, and it does periodic damage while you're in it, uh, and it does kind of hurt. Um, the whole idea is we want to kind of DPS these tentacles down together. So you're going to hear me saying, you know, what's what's right side, what's right side, you know, or you know, I'm going to say channel. what we're going to be at, because um, uh, when one tentacle goes down, the other the other tentacle will disappear like a second later, and depending upon the, like the percent health a tentacle is at, the lower percent health it is, the more damage the boss takes. Um, Meanwhile, while we're DPS in the tentacles, there's going to be two ads that spawn kind of by the shoreline where we're all kind of standing at. Uh, they're going to make a beadline straight for us, Arvis. Um, it's, it's up to the DPS to kill those ads because if they get to you, they're going to explode and it's going to hurt a lot. Um, so, uh, uh, so, Krillin, you're going to be, since you're the only ranged, a lot of it, a lot of the. Uh, a lot of responsibilities going to be put on your shoulders, but um, also uh, uh, Natsu, I'm probably going to have you peel off to kill the one yeah, that's coming after me. So then, um, let's see. Uh, now once a tentacle, and that's going to happen like two or three times during each each time a tentacle comes up. If we do it right, we should only get three tentacles. Um, every time a set of tentacles goes down, there, there will be a different set of ads that appears from the boss itself. Um, just back up, get, get as far back as you can, and avoid those. They're going to run kind of in straight lines, they're going to fan out, just kind of find a gap between two of them, and just let, let them run by. Don't get too close, and don't aggro them. They'll just run right by and they'll ignore us, because if you aggro them, they're going to burrow, and then they're going to explode, and it's going to do a lot of damage. Um, it also does like an AoE damage effect as well, so it's going to hit you and anybody standing next to you. And it does like, it stuns you as well, so it's, they're, they're kind of nasty. Uh, but they just run right by if, if you let them. Um, and then two more tentacles will appear, but this time more... Tw the first two are kind of in the middle here, uh, kind of in front of the boss. The next two are going to be more towards the outside, towards the left and to the right, respectively, for, for our groups that we're splitting up into. Uh, same exact thing. You tank in the same exact way. Uh, rinse, wash, repeat. We do. We after the third set of tentacles go down, as long as we DPS them down together, ish. Um, then we're all going to get pulled inside the, the hypergate. He's going to kind of retreat back into hypergate into this weird little extra dimensional area type place. Uh, and this is where that that uh, link that I put up in uh, Teamspeak is going to help out a lot. So if you click on that. You should see this like a uh, picture with like uh, a bunch of squares and like an oval in the middle of it all. Um, what happens is we all zone in on the home platform. It's um, it, it's it's the highest platform of, of everything. Um, Lightning, you're going to stay on top on the home platform. Shooky, you're going to go to the one that's to the left. Um, so then, what happens here is I'm going to go all the way to the left. Uh, you, you can kind of see that there's two rings of, uh, of platforms there. The outer ring, which is one through eight, um, is, it's, it's kind of a semicircle, and then the inner rings are, are the rest of them. Uh, for this, I'm going to go all the way to, to the far left. You're going to go all the way to the far right, um, um, Arvis. And what's going to happen is I'll pick the boss up, and even though he's like like 40 or 50 meters away from me, I can still hit him. Like range, it's it's Mom, assumed we'll you're at range like zero. We'll be with you in like 30 minutes. Um, uh, while we'll you're be with you in 30 minutes. Uh, so then you know I'm I'll tank you him. Out. You know I'm gonna he, he's gonna oh, okay. spit this purple stuff at me. Was and I'm gonna you know hit him a few uh, while, while this is all going on, um, and then he's gonna do some green spit, which is very much like the stuff you're gonna see in phase one here. Um, you need to, what will happen is I'm going to change platforms, I'm going to hop to my right, and then the next thing he's going to do is he's going to channel, he's going to cast an ability called Scream. You need to taunt him during that cast. Reason being is he's going to hit me with the Scream, which is going to hit me and everybody that's sharing the same platform as me. 
and it's going to give me a debuff, take like 200% more damage from him. So uh, I really, ca I really can't survive that. Uh, and then you're going to tank him, and you're going to, you know, uh, whack away on him and stuff like that. The same exact thing. He's going to sp spit a bunch of purple shit at you, uh, and then when he spits green shit, you are then going to move to your left or to platform number seven. Uh, and then when he channels his scream, uh, I'm going to taunt him off of you, and and do do not go. Do not go back to the 8 platform until that spit goes away. It does go away in phase 2, it does not go away in phase 1. Um, because your spit plus that 200% damage debuff means you're probably going to die as soon as you step on it. Um, and this this is going to go on back and forth. Meanwhile, the DPS, what they're going to do... Uh, Krillin, have you DPS this fight before? Okay, you are going to follow... Um, uh, I, uh, where the j jetty is that how you pronounce it best Luke uh, I'm sorry if I if I butcher it <laughs> um, uh, you've DPS this before right best you want you can uh, switch him and me can, can you guys hear me oh uh, can now okay sorry I was hitting the wrong shift key um, I've, I've healed it before I haven't DPS it yet Okay, um, th in that case, why don't we switch, um... Switch me and him. Him best. Okay, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll switch, uh... Alright. I'll mark in a linear then, um... I thought you were switching so, me and... Sorry, yeah, sorry, I'll mark Natsu. Follow Natsu there, uh, Krillin, because what'll happen is you guys at first if, if if you opened up that that link that i that i sent at first you guys will go to platform 13. did you uh, open that you have since your melee what? it's well actually no your that range never mind you have to be you to have no. to be sharing the it same shows you what the platforms will look as like the inside. tentacle you, the dps are going to be killing tentacles just like they are going to be doing in phase one um except this time you have to be on the same platform as the tentacle uh, otherwise it's just going to absorb all the damage you throw at it uh, now the thing is though, the tentacles they will channel, oh, they will cast an ability called Slam. Two indications. First is you'll actually see the tentacle lift up. Like at yeah. first it will be kind of like grasping onto the platform, but then you'll see it lift up, and then uh, so that's the that's the visual indication. Then you'll actually see it cast a thing called Slam. You need to hop off the platform. And the way the way you change platforms is there's these rings. Um, uh, I. I guess you can call them like stargate rings, like sort of. Um, and what happens? They're kind of like tubes. Pretty much, yeah. It's, it's imagine like shoots and ladders. The game shoots and ladders. If if you played that when you're a little kid, um, or or with your kids, if you happen to have any, where the the ring that you he jump through, it'll take you kids. to the next platform down the line <laughs> with it. Like you don't have to worry about you know jumping through like one ring and it's taking you to the other side of the fucking map or whatever. No, it's just, it just takes you right down the line to, to the next platform um, um, that it's connected to. Um, if you fall off, don't worry, it'll respawn you back at the home platform. Uh, so if you suck at platforming and jumping around, you know, and, and you, you can either jump through the rings or you can just, walk, you know, kind of walk through them as you fall. Your forward momentum will carry you through the ring and then it'll just take you through the rest of the way. Um, and so what, what happens is, uh, as I was mentioning about the, uh, the the tentacles you guys are DPSing, you're going to be, you know, killing them, and when it channels slam, you need to hop off, either to, uh, to, to one of the different platforms. Um, uh, it's not going to kill you, but it just makes the healer's jobs a lot easier because the tanks are going to be taking a lot of damage. Um, and this time, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, evening out the DPS on the tentacles or whatever. It does kind of help, though. Because what happens is, as soon as the, as soon as both tentacles go down, there's these things called hypergate irregularities that are going to spawn all over the damn place. Like if you, if you open up your map, they they spawn everywhere except on platforms 9, 11, 13, and 15, where the tentacles are going to be at. Every other platform they spawn at. Um, so this is, uh, and it's very very critical that we kill these things asap, because the whole raid is going to be taking damage while we're killing these things but if we're too if we're too slow at killing them you're going to see them start shoot shooting lightning all over the place and then we're going to take even more damage it's it, like like to the point where you need to pop a defensive cooldown and probably a med pack just to survive uh while uh uh 
uh, while we try to kill the rest of the, the, the irregularities off. Uh, so for this, we're all going to kind of split up and kind of kill, you know, we're going to have pre pre-assigned platforms that people are going to kill their, uh, their irregularities at. Um, uh, let's see. Krillin, you are going to kill... Um, uh, if you if you have that map opened up, you're going to kill the irregularities that spawn on uh, uh, platforms twelve and five, which is one of them is th that's directly in front of the boss, and then uh, as you're killing that one, you'll see, like as you're kind of moving away from the boss after you kill that, you should see Thrawn or Shooky to the right on platform four. You're going to go to the left on platform five. Um, They'll be directly underneath the platform where uh, um, White Knight is going to be healing from, or uh, um, White Lightning. Uh, Lightning. You're going to kill the one that's the home platform. Shooky, you get platform four. Arvis, you're going to kill the one that's on platform eight. If that has spit on it, which there is a possibility, it doesn't happen too often though uh, because of timing and stuff. Then just kill the one that's on platform seven, the one you happen to be on. Uh, otherwise, kill the one that's on platform 8. I kill the one that's on platform 1. Um, Natsu, you are going to kill the irregularities that spawn on 14 and 7 and 6. Um, uh, in Alinea, you kill the one that spawns the ones that spawn on 16 and 10, or the one directly behind the boss and to the left. And Besk, you're going to kill the ones that uh, on platforms 2 and 3. Um, on the outer ring there. Um, now, if you get done killing your irregularities, with, with the exception of the healers, because the healers are probably going to be bit busy healing the raid uh, after they kill their tentacle, after they kill their irregularities, because as, as I mentioned before, everybody's going to be taking damage while we're killing the irregularities. But once you get done killing, and you have to be on the same platform as the irregularities as well. So, uh, just to let you know that, Krillin. So you can't just, you know, sit on a different platform and DPS it. Um, uh, after you get done killing your irregularities, look around to see if, if there's any uh, other irregularities that need to get killed. Because once again, we gotta kill these things fast. That is the make or break part of uh, 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 of, of, of of phase two. Um, after the irregularities go down, two more tentacles will pop up, but this time on different platforms. This time more behind the boss uh, uh, on platforms nine and fifteen. If you're looking at the map. Um, Krillin and Natsu, you know, uh, Krill Krillin just kind of look for the star. Natsu should know where to go. Um, but uh, and then Inalinia and Basque, you two, you know, you go for platform nine. Uh, I'll mark in Inalinia. I'll mark you with uh, with fire. It should stand out pretty nicely. Um, and then uh, same exact thing, you know, uh, uh, Krillin, uh, you, you, know, you DPS the tentacle, hop off the platform to a different one when the channel slam. Arvis, same thing for you and me. We're going to do our little taunt swap thing when he does the scream and stuff like that. Um, and then same exact thing when we kill that set of tentacles. More irregularities, irregularities will pop up in the exact same spots as mentioned before. So, you know, go kill the ones that, uh, that you're assigned to. Um, and then after the second set of irregularities goes down, uh, a third set of tentacles will pop up in the exact same location as the first set. Um, and same exact thing, DPS the tentacles down, Arvis, you and I, we, we we still do our tank swap thing. Once the third set of tentacles goes down, the boss will enter what's called a tantrum phase. Uh, at this point, just burn them. Kill the boss as quickly as you can. Um, because, uh, uh, now Arvis, we can taunt the boss, and for that, to guarantee for that six seconds that the taunt is working, he will go on us, but after that, he will target a random person. So what's going to happen is is I'll first start off. Well, depending upon how things are, like if my if my taunts are kind of down, then you're probably going to have to taunt. And the way it's going to work is either you or I, whoever whoever you know whoever's taunts are looking you know to be cooled down the most, they're going to do their they're going to kind of roll their taunts. They're going to go single taunt, then you know a second or two after that wears off, they're going to do AOE taunt. Second or two after that wears off. They're going to do single taunt again, at which point you're out of taunts, and then the other tank, or whoever it happens to be, they'll do the same exact thing. Single, AoE, single, then your single should be up, and then we kind of go back and forth like that just to ensure that the boss stays on us. 
um, to, to allow the DPS, so that way the healers can just focus heal us, and it allows the DPS just to you know, ha not have to worry about getting hit that much. And, the, and we only have to get him to 3% health in that last burn phase. We don't have to get him all the way. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I know it sounds like a lot. It's going to be confusing when you first go in there. Don't worry if you get lost. It ha happens. Um, but just a quick recap. Phase 1, we got to kill at least three sets of tentacles. Tanks will keep them spun away from everybody. Uh, Shuki's going to stay back um, for spit on his side. Um, lightning. And uh, did, did you have a preference whether you want to be up on the tentacle to heal or did you want to stay back for spit? Um, it doesn't matter to me. Okay. Um, I don't know. Usually when I healed this last time, I just ran around. <laughs> Gotcha. Okay. Well, um, let's see. Uh, why don't we have you stay back for spit then, uh, Krillin? Oh, sorry, not Krillin, uh, Lightning. So ha have both healers for each group kind of stay back. Um, if heals are getting, if, if, if it's looking too bad, then tell Krillin to swap. Krillin, if you're called to, to, to move back to spit, uh, for the spit, just stay max range from the boss. Keep yourself bubbling at all times. And what'll happen is when you see green shit appear uh, on top of you, just move out of it uh, because you're going to take damage if you stay in that stuff. Uh, and try to try to be very conscientious of where you're standing. D don't try to spread it all 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 over the place. Try to uh, uh, because once you move out of it, once you move out of the animation of the spit. It, it, it generally the damage should generally stop so just try to keep them tightly compacted because that spit does not disappear at all in phase one until we get to phase two so you want to be kind of smart about where, where you're placing yourself for the spit that's if if uh lightning calls for a swap for uh for, um for you and him to switch for uh, for for the spit target um then uh you know three sets of tentacles Kill the ads that spawn here by the shoreline. When the tentacles go down, avoid the ads that spawn from the boss. When he gets down to 50, like below 50%, we're going to phase two, at which point we all get pulled in. Um, you probably want to guard Natsumi over there, Arvis, if, uh, if possible. He's going to pull, he's probably going to pull um, uh, more threat, uh, just FYI. Um, then, um, Phase two is, you know, uh, DPS killed tentacles. Uh, Krillin just follow Natsu. Um, follow the star. Um, uh, Arvis, you and I, we do our little tanking thing on separate platforms. You know, I go far left, you go far right. Kill the irregularities when they pop up to your pre-assigned platforms. We kill three sets of tentacles, two sets of irregularities, and then it's just burn after that. Any questions? Nope, I just know left and behind that boy there. Because the numbers, when I get turned around, I can only remember locations. I can't remember numbers when I get turned around in phase two. I have a question. Can we stabby stabby? That's what the ready <laughs> check's for. And apparently Shooky says, no, you may not. Oh, there he goes. Uh, I, I say go Wake up, Shooky. Pulling Where I can jump to spit back. Three, in. two. You know I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, right. I didn't say how you play the These ads though. spawn back here because if they run up to the uh, tank, they'll fucking kill them. So we just attack these tentacles right now. Yeah. Oh, you might want to move in a little more, Carolyn. Yeah, you can yeah, stack while I'm popping off. I don't bite. I'm on some ass. Alright, we're at 70. I'll be sure to never ask. We're at 60 over here. Same. Four. Ads. Kill the ads. Behind you. And there's one thing you could do, Arvis, if those ads ever get really uh, close to you. Round. I've heard that will block all the damage that you would receive from them. 
More ads. We're at a 20 right behind on you. the left. We're at 24. On right, kill him on your tank. More ads back Dead. up, kill those at harvest. Stay away from those ads. DPS kill uh, everybody avoid the ads, the smaller ones that are running away from the boss. Tentacles are gonna be on the outside this time. Watch it, best. You gotta get in here. Seventy five. Yep, this thing seventy five here. Ads. Oh, something I forgot to mention in phase two. Well, for the DPS, when you're attacking the tentacles, make sure you're attacking the tentacle and not the boss. Um, it just like his his reticle, his hitbox is just so large that like when you tab onto him, or it's, sometimes it's a little hard to target him. But just make sure you're hitting the tentacle. Over oh, twenty-five. Thirty-three. Correct. Ed. Watch out for when you're in the spit. 24 on this side, on the right side of me. Right, 23. Lost. Uh, we're at uh, 11, 10. Alright, slow DPS on the 11. Ads. We're below. 7%. Below 10. Below 10. I'm pulling off to kill. Kill him. Kill the tentacles. Back up. Yep. Avoid the ads from, uh, from the boss. Tentacles will be right back in the same position as the first ones. Okie doke. Oh shit. Sure. Oh god. See, <laughs> <laughs> hey, those things take half my fucking health. Well, when they touch you. Yeah. If, like. If they if they see you they go burrow and then they fucking come back and they fuck you up. So bad. Sixty. Fifty seven. On right. Ads. Fifty. Ads. Tentacles go down. Switch your guard to uh, to your healer to White Knight. Um, Arvis. Below twenty. Okay. Below twenty on right. Oh, oh, shit. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah, I see. Bad. Yeah. Other side. Other side is the one. Oh. Uh, fuck! I can't click on him. One percent. Each of you can shroud. You can shroud and avoid the damage from those things. I believe. Oh, what the hell? At least that's what I was told. Make sure you got the White Knight guarded. Oh, that's cool. I healed just as we were getting pulled. Yeah, they're going. See, this I is that from up here. You have to go to. Cool spark. What do I do? Uh, fuck. You this. Have to the star on his head. Where the hell did he go? So where do I go? My left one. Yeah, you jump, jump, just try to get to that platform, and then whenever you see the tentacle raise into the air, that's when you jump off it. Like, you jump back to another one. Oh, shit, shit, fuck. Curl and go. Where 
guys from one. I don't even know. Taunt him, Arvis? Yeah, there you go. Taunt him. When it lifts up, that's when you just turn around and jump back to the other one. Oh, the flat one. The one you just went to? Yeah, no, the one you went from. Uh. Well, when uh, I killed the nice time. You jumped to the one he did? Kind of cool. Lift yeah. Up like that. Yeah. You want to jump off the platform? Uh. Off. And back on. You're taunting him. Yeah, you can also shroud that screen to um, Arvis, so if, you get, if you're low on health, if you time it right. Okay. Oh, almost fell off. How uh, long does it take for the spit to go? How long does it take for the spit to go away? A few seconds. You know, it, it's not that long. So just watch for it. Okay. Shit. It'll definitely be clear. Up. Oh, yeah, like, uh, it should be clear now. Uh, scream, taunt him. Make sure you DPS or attack at the time of throwing out the boss. Just as a quick check and reminder. Things are looking good. I think just stay and kill this one. Oh. Taunting. The regularities are popping up, so go to your platforms. Oh, follow this guy now? Yeah. No, you, uh, you gotta look for the things on the platforms and kill them. Because if not, they do this giant electric shock shit. Alright. Uh, it's really hard to... Can I help the one guy? No, you can just go to another platform and kill another one. Oh, okay, I see. One in front of the boss is killed. On it. Alright, we're good. Oh, we're not. Okay, now we're good. Terra's got the boss. Come to your See, right. See, and it's room. basically that. The one again, you're looking. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And then there, the tentacles behind him now. Oh, yeah, I see. After that one, you go back to the other, and then the tentacles in that spot. It's a rinse and repeat process. Taunt him? Yeah. Tentacles are about to go down, so get ready for more regularity. Down. Irregularities.
Jarvis has got the boss. Are you hitting the regularity in the linear? There we go, okay. Yeah, and after that sound tackles, it's really easy. It's basically over. I got him. So after this, just uh, after these tentacles go down, he's going to go through a tantrum. So no more regularity. So just uh, be sure to DPS the boss after you kill the uh, after both uh, tentacles go down. Yeah, Krillin, you stay on whatever uh, platform you're on. I'll, oh, yeah. I'll move somewhere else so we don't get. Because when he swipes, he swipes at anyone on the platform. At yeah, anyone that... everyone, so... Take a more of a Am I supposed to be attacking or am I just waiting? No, no, you're supposed to be attacking. You're waiting for the okay. tantrum. Well, after the tantrum, after the tantrum. I'll taunt him first, all my taunts are up. Tantrum. I got yeah, him. there you go. Taunting. Taunting. Take him on this. Take him again. And again. There we go. That's it. I see. Yeah, we got just as many away. Nice. Keep shooting lightning at him. Good, Good job, job, all. And thank you all. Hey.